significant figures. This is the first video in a series of videos about significant figures. In this video, I'm going to tell you what they are and why they're important. If you watch this series of videos as a whole, it will tell you everything you need to know about significant figures. Tell me if this has ever happened to you. Let's say you're in a science class. You turn in some homework assignment or some exam. One of your answers was 8.71 centimeters and it was marked wrong or you had some points taken off because you were supposed to round this to 8.7 centimeters. If this type of story sounds familiar to you, this is a series of videos that can help. This is a problem with significant figures. The definition of significant figures is the meaningful digits in a measured or calculated quantity. It is possible to calculate something mathematically correctly, but not round it correctly. A lot of times in science, you can't trust your calculators in that there is one more step you need to do after you mathematically calculate something. You need to figure out how many of those digits you actually know and round an answer properly. If you're in a lab, you need to know exactly how many digits you need to record. So I want to first explain the concept of significant figures without numbers using a real world example. So I'm calling this a restaurant in Chicago. Do you want to grab some lunch? Sure, that sounds like fun. Where do you have in mind? I'm at a restaurant in Chicago. I don't know what it's called. Okay, which of these two ways makes more sense for me to respond? Option one, oh, you must mean Uranium's Pizzeria next to the big mirrored bean. Option two, you really gotta give me more information. There are a lot of restaurants in the city of Chicago. Okay, option one, that doesn't make any sense. Chicago is a huge city. There are a lot of restaurants in it. If the only information I'm given is a restaurant in Chicago and my friend wants me to go eat lunch there, I need more information. I could theoretically go to every single restaurant in Chicago until I found my friend, but that's not really reasonable. Option two, telling my friend that I need more information because I'm probably not going to be able to find him in a timely manner. That is what makes more sense. Significant figures are about knowing exactly how much information is in a number. It's about recording measured quantities in a way that enables you and other people to look at that number and know exactly which digits are meaningful. It, there are lots and lots of rules about calculating numbers so that you can calculate a value that does not have any more or less precision than the numbers you started with. Now let's do an example with actual numbers. So imagine you work in a government and you are in charge of making sure there's enough clean water for everyone to drink. You look at the new census because you need to know how many people there are and you find out that there are 3,200,000 people. Immediately after this census is taken, two new people are born. You decide to update your number, to update your total population number. So you add two to your original number. Mathematically, you get 3,200,002. However, there is something massively wrong with what I just did. This number that I started with, 3,200,000, it is not a very precise number. I only know the three and the two at the beginning. These zeros are just placeholders. Let's think about what numbers we could possibly round to be 3,200,000. On the low end, this could be 3,150,000 all the way up to the high end, it could be 3,249,999. We 
we have a range of about 100,000 numbers that can all be rounded to 3,200,000. It's not really valid for me to add 2 to this 0 at the end and assume that I know that that's a 2 for sure. It could be a giant range of numbers. So I mathematically calculated this correctly, but I need to recognize that there is now too much precision in this number. I don't actually know the 2 at the end. I still only know the 3 and the 2 at the beginning. I'm going to need to round this answer that I calculated, and it's going to round back to 3,200,000. So, to relate this back to our previous example of a restaurant in Chicago, think of the three as the city of Chicago and the two as some restaurant, and these five zeros are all just placeholders. They're information that you don't have. It could be a street address or a name of the restaurant or something else that can give you more information about what the restaurant is. If we only know the very beginning, we can't assume that we know these five zeros with certainty. This is the equivalent. This 3,200,002, assuming that this is a correct number, that's the equivalent of assuming that you know exactly what restaurant your friend is in. Your friend is in Uranium's Pizzeria, next to the big mirrored bean. That's a problem. Whenever you calculate a number, you need to make sure that you round the answer such that the answer that you're calculating does not have any more or less precision than the numbers you started with. There are a lot of rules about significant figures. There are going to be rules for calculations, multiplication and division, addition and subtraction, and logarithms. There are going to be rules for how to write numbers when you measure something in a lab. There are rules for how to recognize how many significant figures are in a certain number. I'm going to be doing lots and lots of videos about significant figures covering all of those topics.